Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a little bit of addition. So let's talk about what I have on my whiteboard first. First thing, I have a number line. And on my number line, I have the numbers from one through 10. Number lines are incredibly important in math because it's a very good tool. It helps us add, it helps us subtract, it helps us count on, it helps us count back. What else do I have? I have a picture. So this picture is going to help me make a number sentence or equation where I'm going to find a solution. I'm going to find an answer. I'm going to find a sum. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, what I want to do, I want to look at my picture and I'm going to make a story about it. So are you hear my story? Here we go. Anna went to the apple orchard. She picked four apples. One, two, three, four. Then she picked one more apple. One. How many apples does Anna have in all? So what I want to do is I want to make a number sentence to talk about my picture. But first, if you remember my story, Anna went to the apple orchard, picked four, and then picked one more. If you heard me say that word more, I like to call that a clue word. Clue words help me decide if I'm going to be adding or subtracting. Since I said more, I am going to be adding. So let's go ahead and make our number sentence. Well, how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna look at my picture. The picture is going to help me. So what did she start with here? She started with four apples. One, two, three, four. Then she picked one more. There's my one. Now, I need to find an answer. But before I do that, let's talk about the numbers that we made for our equation. You see the numbers four and one. They have special names when you're adding them in a number sentence. They are called add-ends. In order to add my add-ends and then come to an answer, which is not only called an answer, it's not only called a solution, it's also called a sum. So we add our add-ends together to make a sum. So what would be your strategy to figure that out? How would you get your sum? How would you get your answer? Well, if you wanna try the easy peasy way, let's go ahead and count my pictures. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. So Anna picked five apples. But remember what I said? Remember we have a tool up here, that number line? Well, we could use a great strategy called count on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my bigger number, four. And then I'm going to add one more. I'm going to count on one more in my line. So watch. Let's see if we still get to five when we count on. So here I go. I'm at four. I'm going to count on one more. And there we got to five. So hold on. Stay tuned. I have another example. Okay, and we're back. So now my apples change to strawberries. So let's make a story. Mrs. Gorski went to the strawberry patch. She picked five strawberries. One, two, three, four, five. Then she picked three more strawberries. One, two, three. How many strawberries does Mrs. Gorski have in all. So, remember what I said when you listened to my story? We could have some clue words to help us. So, I went to the strawberry patch. I picked five and then three more. So, remember that word more, it's going to be a plus. But I also used some other ones. I also used the words in all. In all also tells me that I'm going to add two. So, let's make our equation. Let's make that number sentence. All right, 
So let's talk about what's my first add end going to be. Well, I picked one, two, three, four, five strawberries. All right. Now I picked how many more? One, two, three more. There's my other add end. Now, what am I going to do to find my sum, to find my answer? So let's do the easy peasy way. Let's count up all these pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my sum, my answer is going to be eight. Wow. Remember that other strategy? Remember using that number line? Remember using the strategy of counting on? Well, where am I going to start? My big number. How many am I going to count on? Three. So let's start with my five. Then I'm going to count on three more. Ready? One, two, three. Look, I got my eight. There it is. So boys and girls, I hope you like our little tutorial on easy addition, using a number line, using some counting on, learning some really good vocabulary with add end and sum. And remember, I always encourage you to try some practicing at home. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.